we change these radicals into exponents. These exponents are understood to be first power, and I will write those in for the sake of illustration. And so we have the entry. We now conclude with a sample problem of rather great difficulty and handle it with only the laws of the schema. First, we change all radicals to fractional exponents using the radical law. So here is the problem. Every radical we will change to fractional exponents. Let's do it over here. That's a squared times a to the one half, because this is first power and this is a square root, so we understand the index to be two. So that's a to the one half power times a to the, dividing the index into the exponent, that'll be a to the two thirds power, b to the index into the exponent, b to the five thirds power, all divided by b times first power understood here, so dividing that we get a to the one sixth power. So we've changed every radical into a fractional exponent, and now we can employ the laws of exponents. Uh, first of all, let's use the multiplication law here, or product law, and in multiplication of like bases, which are these, we will add the exponents, so that gives us a to the second power, a to the one half, Whoops, let's uh, add the exponents here. So that gives us um, a to the two plus one half plus two thirds. And um, then the b to the five thirds, we'll just bring along for the moment all over and let's commute the a out in front here, a to the one-sixth times b. So then we're adding these, adding these exponents, we need to get a common denominator, change them all into six. Um, this one will become uh, a to the twelve-sixths and plus one half is uh, three six, and two thirds is four six. Bring along the b to the five thirds, and the a to the one sixth b. Adding the exponents on top, we get a to the Nineteen six, so so far, all we have done was the multiplication of like bases on the uh, numerator of the problem. At this point, we now have a division of like bases, which we can do by the quotient law. And I'm going to need to erase the board here to get some more space. So in division, we subtract the exponents bottom from top. That gives us a to the 19 6 minus 1 6 <coughs> and b to the, this is the first power. We'll think of it in thirds, so as we subtract the exponent, we get five-thirds minus three-thirds first power. Subtracting the exponents, we now get a to the 18-6, b to the two-thirds. 18-6 reduces to a to the third power. 
and b to the two-thirds we will change into radical form using the radical law, so that gives us the putting this denominator back into the index of the radical, that gives us the cube root of b squared. And that is as simple as it gets, uh, simplest radical form as we call it. So that will be the answer for the problem. All done using the quotient uh, and uh, radical laws and other laws in the schema. Now, the laws of the schema have handled the whole problem. These four fundamental laws of exponents and radicals are so powerful and so easily learned in schema form that no other laws or rules are necessary. The mathematical beauty and elegance of the schema should endear it to the hearts of students and teachers alike. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.